Ryan, what is the DNA of a typical structured product? So there's basically four things that should jump out at you if you're looking at a structured product and you know if you're not sure if you're looking at one uh, these are the four components that would almost uh, certainly put you in in structured product uh, space so number one is that it, it has some form of maturity or fixed term and that could be you know six months all the way through to you know 15 years in some uh, some respects so if there's a maturity date uh, of some sorts involved that's key. Um, it's going to have some sort of payoff profile or payoff shaping. So, you know, uh, is there two times gearing on the upside? Is there full capital protection or some sort of capital protection on the downside? That's a surefire sign that you're dealing with a, with a structured product if it has that there. Um, the underlyings are, are, you know, could be quite vast. So it will reference some sort of reference asset or assets, um, something very simple from, you know, five-year capital protected product in dollars linked to the S and P 500, all the way through to to um, something linked to the Berkshire Hathaway A or B share or a Tesla share. Um, that's a surefire sign that if you've got an underlying with a payoff profile with some sort of protection component and a fixed maturity date that you're invariably dealing with a structured product.